it's time for one of our great and informative segments, Precious Metals Market Report. Mike Fulgen joining me now. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Good. Good to have you. We have a lot of good things to talk about. First of all, we're going to start off with Senator John McCain wanting to uh, get rid of dollar bills and replace that with coins. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, tell and, us about that sense. And it doesn't matter if it comes from a Republican, a Democrat, a Libertarian, an Independent. It makes sense. Uh, it's been scored at saving us over 150 million a year, over wow. three million, over 20, three billion over 20 years if we did this. And it's been done by Australia, it's been done by Great Britain, it's been done by Canada, and initially people don't want it to happen, mm -hmm. but once it's there, they don't complain, and you know what, we need to save the money for the debt, or how many hungry kids or elderly with that could be saved. Shut down the mints, a lot of the press, I mean the, the treasury, a lot of the BEP, paper printing presses, save workers, but also coins last a lot longer, 50 to 60 years where the bills last 18 months. It's been studied. It makes sense, and other countries have done it. What about eliminating the penny? Penny would save us Wait. about 60 million a year. It costs two over two cents to make one penny. It costs 12 cents to make a nickel. And again, most major nations have eliminated their penny or the similar unit. It makes total sense to do it. I've written about it nationally uh, in a number of columns. We should do it between the two. We could save over 200 million a year, and that's not small change. That is not small change. And speaking of reporting about it nationally, tell us a little bit more about that. Well, I've written about it in Money News, AMAC. I got published in the Wall Street Journal last week about it Congratulations. in an article. I've never been in there before. And Maxim Magazine called, and they want me to write about it. And my friends are going to tell their wives that they buy it for the articles. Oh. They want me to sign it, and they say I really do read the articles. There are articles in there, and things like that, very informative. Event. Yes, but they did say that the uh, silver dollars would be strategically placed on me in the article. Oh, oh okay, all right. Oh, interesting there, right? You just returned from uh, the World's Fair of Money in Chicago, uh, interviewing with uh, Fox Business. A lot going on there. Tell us a little bit about that and the honor you received. Well, Jeff Flock interviewed me there. I was the only person interviewed at the National um, uh, World's Fair of Money, and we talked about five hour lines to buy U.S. Mint gold coins. Unprecedented lines. He couldn't believe how long the lines were. And I said, you know, there's paper investments in their gold. It's like putting the puppy in your hands. And he loved the line. And they said, yeah, it is like when you hold real gold, it's like having a puppy in your hands. So, and you actually brought the award. I think it's just great to be able to show that. Tell us about this, the Clemmy Award. The Clemmy is the top honor in our industry for a long time writing and publishing. Smithsonian directors, mint directors have gotten it, top publishers. I'm the only person from this region who's ever gotten it. It is the top award in our field for reporting on coins and precious metals. Well, congratulations for that, and we appreciate you joining us on the show today. Well, congratulations to you, and y'all won awards for this show. Congratulations we to you did. for this TV show and you winning the top award for TV reports on money. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this is one of my personal favorites. Brian, take us away.